Okay, on this video, I'll be showing you on how to create custom answer sheet. Okay, so what is a custom answer sheet? Oh, what is that? If you are, or if you have an account at Zipgrade, um, okay, I will show it to you so you can understand. So, for example, we are going to make our new quiz. We'll just name it Quiz 101. Okay, we are now here at the part where we need to select, select the answer sheets. Okay, as you can see, we have few list of answer sheets here, but the first three answer sheets are the default answer sheets that the zip grade application is, uh, is giving to us so we have the 20 question form the 50 question form and the 100 question form the rest that you see here are the one that I did for my custom answer sheet okay with this first three answer sheets um, there's no problem in using this but um, if you are just giving only four choices for example only A, B, C, D so students might be confused since there's still one more choice which is the letter E so all of the three forms here contains letter E on their answer sheet. So right now I'll be illustrating to you on how to create a custom answer sheet that would um, meet the meet your expectations or your um, exam. Okay. So we need to go to the Google Chrome. Um, go to zip grade sorry we have we need to go to the zip grade.com okay, sorry for the slow internet and then of course we need to log in and we key in our password okay. so, by the way don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos okay so we are now logged in right so I'll be showing you the website form okay or the desktop site does it great so we are now logged in so this is how it looks if you open it in a laptop okay next to do is go to the answer sheets tab click it and then here here are the three default answer sheet that we already have so we have that 20 question, 50 question, and the 100 question. So it is already available for download. If you like PDF file, so click PDF. If you like a photo file, so just click the PNG format. Okay, so right now we need to click the custom answer sheet wizard to start doing our own answer sheet. Okay, so we are now here at the custom answer sheets page. So next is we need to click the new answer sheet. And by the way, this is my custom answer sheet that I, that I have made. Okay, so let's click new answer sheet to begin. Alright, so the first step is that we need to name it. For example, we name it. 50 items 
A, B, C, D. Right. What's next is uh, we need to tap the next button. Tap it. And in this second step, we will be deciding of what would be the header be look like. Okay, so there are name, quiz, and classes. And the second column is questioning us if we are going to enable it. It means that we will be displaying the name column the quiz and the class where the student would fill up this information during the exam okay so let's just leave this and change so next this next step is that um, we will decide if we will include the study ID section for me, this is the very important part. Um, you, we need to include this so that we can use uh, or we can use the name of the students that was imported in our zip grade account that was um, illustrated from my previous videos. And here, the second one is the include key version. Uh, if you already or if you only have one key answer and you haven't made different sets of the exam, so we don't need to uh, put it that on the answer sheet. But if you make uh, different sets of exam, then we should. Um, include it so it's up for you okay for me i will not include that next okay so we are now on the step four okay on this step four is we are going to of course i am only um, discussing about multiple choice questions so i will just add multiple choice question okay so we have the question type um, internal label so that means that the letter a b c d is inside of the circle okay so uh, the answer labels will just be up to d okay no more e so you if you like to put until ABC then delete the D and then we have how many numbers of questions if you have 50 questions of course then you will uh, select 50 questions if you like 60 questions then select 60 questions but I will just leave it at 50 Okay, so we're done adding questions. So the next step is this one. Okay, and then here at the bottom we can now see the preview, preview of our customized answer sheet. So this is what it looked like looks like the answer sheet that we have designed so what would we do next if we are already sure then we will just click lastly the publish button okay zipgrade.com says okay let's just click okay all right so we are done so as you can see here we have already added 50 items a b c d so we have done this online so if we will go back to the zipgrid account or the zipgrid application um, 
in order for us to see the 50 items ABCD custom answer sheet is we still need to go here at the cloud and we need to sync so that all of the changes on our uh, web portal will be uploaded here in our zip create application on this step we need to what we need okay by the way so we have another we have an that was plugged in so i need to plug it out and plug in the tech that chair one two three at, at gmail so this was the account that we use lately from the web portal so just need to log in it okay so again we need to sync it so that the new answer sheet can be found now on the um, list of answer sheet okay if I will create a new quiz that and let's say we will let, we will just leave the quiz name for that and we will select answer sheet okay this time you we can now see the 50 items a b c d k422 which we just um, designed a while ago okay so um, we are done all you have to do is to download the custom answer sheet that we have designed and that would be the one to be used by our students during their exam okay so and i think that's all for our tutorial on how to do a custom answer sheet Okay, thank you and once again um, this video is for educational purposes only thank you click hit and subscribe okay by the way don't forget to subscribe